All right, guys. Hello there. Welcome to the channel. I am Mar. This is going to be the their feelings for the beautiful sign of Virgo. We keep it pushing. We keep it moving. Okay. I have to get ready for my appointments, but I wanted to come on and do this now. I will knock the rest of them out later. So ironically speaking, we are ending the month of April with two water signs, which is Scorpio and Pisces, which is really interesting. But anywho, if you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe, Al, what's good, fam bams? If you have the Kiss My Marvelousness t-shirt, which I love, I put those lips there. I designed each one of them. I put those lips there too. Um, yes, Kiss My Marvelousness. <laughs> Shout out. Show your love in the comments if you got that shirt. It is a bestseller. I love it. Uh, never saw myself as, you know, really being big on selling merchandise. But when I designed that one, that one was, that was a, a, a hit, like they say back at home. It's a hit. And when I say home, I mean Chicago. It's a hit. I guess they say that everywhere. If you're new here with me, hello, hello, Virgo. For you and your collective, if you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe, like I certainly hope that you are. Go ahead, take time to do that now. It don't cost no money. Go ahead and do it. And what's good, fam bam? Hello to my YouTube members. New announcements coming in about seven days, like I told you guys. Let's get into it, Virgo, because I got to get ready for my appointments. So, Virgo, we are going to start off with the self-care messages for you for Taurus season. The sun has shifted into Taurus season, and when that happened, Virgo... It is illuminating your ninth house, hunties, your ninth house. Let's go ahead and get into it with the ninth house. Now, with that being said, uh, hello, Marv. There we go. Ninth house covers the higher mind, expansion, international and long distance travel, foreign languages, inspiration, optimism, publishing, broadcasting, universities and higher education. Are you going back to school? Luck, risk, adventure, gambling, religion, philosophy, morals, and ethics. This is your Sagittarius house. And if you know a Sagittarius, they are all about their philosophies. Okay? So what are you going through right now, Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's good with you? Let's go ahead and find out um, what your self-care messages is. That, that house being illuminated. Okay? Then when the screen turns, we're going to get into their feelings. Self, if beating yourself up worked, you'd be thin, rich, and happy. <laughs> Try loving on yourself instead. You are, I like this for you, Virgo. I'm not going to lie because you guys love to please and you care very much so about making people happy. And um, more importantly, also, I don't want to uh, sound, I want to make sure that I choose my words wisely here, but you do care about doing a good job, appearing that you're doing a good job and always operating above board, which is one of the things that I do appreciate about you guys. Um, the cost and the risk that is associated with those things, uh, not so much, but I understand. So now it's time for you to do what this person is doing here. Beautiful cards, by the way. I love these cards. Um, fly out of that cage that you put yourself in and try loving on yourself instead. Beautiful energy because you do love everybody else and always champion their causes and want to lift people up and transform them and change their life but what about virgo okay we also have space okay the quality of your life has more to do with what you remove oh i need to put this on a shirt what you remove from your life than what you add to it oh yes Give yourself the gift of space. There is too much clutter. Um, and you need to go higher. You need to go higher than where you have been. Clean out your, your sisters, your brothers, your cousins. You can't champion all those causes, Virgo. Get those folks up out and clear your space. Okay. Now that we have two cards out, let's go ahead and take a look at April really quick to see who you were crossing with possibly. Okay, so we don't have anything for self. That is a new focus for you. There was a ton of self-worth last month, a ton of self-worth. 
um, a lot of speak up and self worth and and um, but there was no energy of just self. So it's time to be selfish this particular month. As far as space, it does not look like anybody. Uh, I lie. You okay? So you got a Gemini in your space. You're crossing with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This was the Gemini message last month. They were being guided to do the exact same thing. I don't know whether you and Gemini share a space, but it's time for obviously the both of you guys to take that space that you <laughs> that you need. They need to be removed from some aspect of your life. Okay, let's go ahead and get into your last message. And we do have love that popped out. Love people, love them with all your heart. Just be sure to love yourself first. As you can see, this heart um, has a ton of people in it. It's time to start removing these folks. Um, love came out. Let's see who you cross with. I do believe, I thought that this came out. I don't know how I'm able to retain what did come out from month to month, but um, I've always liked doing the oracles and doing crossings. And I'm, uh, if you've been rocking with me since day one, I am very um, interested in this other uh, deck. My, I, I call it my... My, 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 just my initi, my, and my inaugural deck. Anyway, you're not crossing with anyone. We're going to get into this. Um, but I do feel like that there's, um, overcrowded going on. There's overcrowdedness going on. There is something that you are championing that's not yours. It's not new for you. This is a new focus for you for tourist season. You have ninth house stuff going on. Maybe there are some things, um, that, you want to expand and do, but you cannot do that because you've kept yourself caged. You have, uh, you need to remove people, places, and things from your life um, to create space for you and start loving on yourself a little bit more. Virgo, top of the deck, as an honorable mention, is surrender. Stop trying to control life if it gets in the way of divine intervention. Um, there are some changes that's taking place in your life. You're being guided to get the hell out of the way and allow those changes to take place and surrender to the change because. Although it may be painful um, in some aspects, if you just allow yourself to, as my client sister friend says all the time, be still, Marv. Marv, I need you to be still. And she's telling that to a person who has seven cardinal signs. It's not going to happen. <laughs> anyway, um, it is time for you, though, Virgo, to be still. <laughs> I don't have to listen, but you do clearly. Okay. So just kidding. Um, stop trying to control life. And sometimes we all come to that crossroads where that's what we're supposed to do. Okay. If it gets in the way of divine intervention and that is your self care, this will be pinned down, um, in the description box, as well as in poster form on my website, you guys know it's marvelousmadam.com. You don't have to guess. And when the screen turns, we will get into the feelings for you, darling. Bye Virgo. Hi there, Virgo. Let's keep it moving. Let's go ahead and find out their feelings. Okay, the top of Taurus season. Then we're going to go into, of course, their confessions. And then we're going to go into what aren't they telling you. And then the cycle starts all over again. We will be examining their feelings again. <laughs> When the sun shifts into Gemini, we're going to be taking a look at their current feelings, their current view of you, Virgo, the actions that they're going to take towards any of those feelings that I've out or if any, and finally your feelings. That's always the drum roll. Um, we will get one card that will represent the overall energy. And five clarifiers, um, we will be clarifying that um, overall energy with five clarifiers, okay? Everything that you need is below in the description box for you and your collective. And let's get started. What are their feelings for Virgo? Of course, this can go either way. You can reverse it if you want. Oh, here we go. We're starting off with the justice card. Uh, this was very similar to um, what Aries's person had for them. Maybe you are crossing somehow you or your cross watcher Virgo with Aries energy. This is the eight of swords. When we start off with an eight of swords, obviously we are talking about an individual who is in the process or a mental capacity or a mental um, confusion. Okay. They're, they're feel restricted. They feel like there's a lot of option, uh, obstacles. Sorry. Um, they're confused by some things. They feel powerless. Um, again, as I stated, 
Um, and this is also the justice card. They feel with that justice that there is a karmic justice that needs to be had, um, that somehow you're supposed to take responsibility or it is the responsibility or duty of you in some way, shape, form of cap or capacity to um, right the wrongs, to do what is right here, okay? Um, and it is said that an eight of, 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 one, uh, eight of swords is a self-imposed uh, mental restriction, but again, although I do feel that way, um, and I understand that that is definitely telling, depending on what surrounds the cards, it will be seen what will be what I will weigh towards more. It's their interpretation or something that has happened that um, makes them uh, afraid. Um, and these are the uh, the voices and that they've told themselves based upon what is going on. Okay. Their current view of you is the love. Hello. Hello right now. Their current view of you, Virgo, is the lover's card. I'm sorry because you will hear this thing um, falling apart like Jenga, the, <laughs> the movie. Um, we are looking at the lovers. Okay. First and foremost, this is also the six of cups. Let's start there. Um, their view of you right now is an overall good person. Okay. Um, the view of you in an energy of a six of cups is, you know, just good natured person. Um, you act upon your charities, um, goodwill, innocence. Um, um, there is, um, um, a, a pureness about you. Okay. Also, they have a deep spiritual connection with you because this is also the lover's card, Virgo. So when we're talking about a lover's energy, relationship, sexuality, personal beliefs sometimes too, and values like um, this also talks about struggling with temptation. Um, they look at you as a person that is seeking union and that can be very sexual. Um, a person that relates to others very much. You establish bonds and um, you, you love to be intimate. They're looking at you as an individual, however, that will make up her, his or her own mind and stand true to your beliefs. But with those choices, you struggle with temptation. You may um, be morally and, and ethically at a crossroads. Like you may, they look at you as someone who always strives to be right but wants to be right, wants to be fair, because it kind of ties back into this justice card, which is the major arcana for Libra, by the way. You may be crossing with a Libra um, in some shape, way, form, or fashion. However, they look at you as, <laughs> unfortunately, because, again, this is the view of you. So the view of you is as their lover, but sometimes can maybe change the rules when you see fit or not be so sound or, or, or um, not be so fair. You try to be, but I think what they're trying to say to you is that this image of perfection that you want to maintain, unfortunately, that it doesn't exist. And because you strive to be perfect so much, what is the opposite of that? You also end up falling short of that. And this person is definitely viewing you that way. What actions are they going to take towards these feelings? I think that they're, okay, the actions that they're going to take. So I don't like this as an action, but it is here. So let's read it. Again, another, if you look at these cards, that's the five and the six. We do have the eyes, okay? So this individual, their actions right now is a five of wands. Now, I do not like this. So this is the first indicator of what is actually going on between you. Because they look at you as an individual that kind of plays all ends off the middle with this five of wands. When we're talking about a five of wands, because this is another blended card, we're talking about disagreements. We're talking about competition. We're talking about hassles. The image is typically... Um, five wands, everybody at, at cross purposes. Um, it is actually what I like to call um, the the um, conflict coral and a competition card. Um, the competition is useful in the right circumstances. Unfortunately, um, there when the five of wands is was there, um, it is it's time to check. Um, you know, you know, see who is challenging you. Okay. 
when I look at this blended meaning, which is the devil, we're talking about Virgo, an individual that has habits. We're talking about dishonesty. We're talking about struggling to stay and this is honestly, I hate to say this, is but how they are looking at you. That there is like this secret devil. There is um, um, bondage and, and, and material um, um, things and keeping up with appearances and feeling like this is your um, um, overindulgence and, you know, those attachments that keep you. This is addictions. This is... And they are looking at you and you guys are not um, getting alone right now. Although the lover's card experiences, now that I'm looking at their view of you, they look at you as um, a person that they're deeply connected to. They're also um, competing with you. You guys are arguing their actions right now. And if they're acting upon this energy, they're trying to get you back. They all It's almost as if they're saying... You know, you may, you're not perfect, Patty. Like you, you make mistakes too. That's what I'm hearing. I, I hear this is devil energy. You know, I, I, I feel like you can't keep telling or pointing out my flaws. What about you? You guys are arguing about this Virgo. I don't like this at all. Okay. I don't like it. So let's find out how you are feeling because their actions is arguing and they're going to um, beat you over the head with being attached to their patterns and their habits and, you know, and really fight. And then there's more than one person. There are more than one person here that has opinions. Maybe there was a fight. Maybe the family is involved. Maybe that goes back. Thank you, spirit. Come on now. It's a space. Maybe there was a big blow up argument. Maybe something has been exposed. Maybe you're starting to understand, Virgo, that the quality of your life has more to do with what you remove from it than what you add to it. Um, and maybe you put your foot down and remove, you know, this individual. And that's the reason why you're arguing. Maybe instead of loving them through their addictions, because, again, this is their actions. So this lets me know, um, you know, the actions that they are taking. It's their actions. So maybe you decided to clear the space and, 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 and kick their asses out this house. And as a result of that, they're upset about that. And they're starting to try to uh, air your dirty laundry, getting your mama involved and your sister and your cousin and calling your friends. And Virgo is not all that they cracked up to be. Oh, so you get to snitch on me because I put your ass out. That's what it seems like, Virgo. What is... Virgo's feelings. Oh, so were you under this impression? Is this a person that you're married to? Because your feelings is coming up definitely in the four of wands. So this was somebody that you wanted to marry, Virgo, or somebody that you're currently married to. This is the 1111. This is the person that you wanted to be with. This is the person that I dare say that everything that you have been dealing with um, is around, it has been wrapped around this individual. Um, that's why, you know, their current view of you is their lover, my lover, my baby. It feels like, girl, don't you know you're beautiful? That came to me when I said that, but there's also an addiction. There's also something here that you have, um, again, that you have loved them through. And now it's almost as if you're getting a penalty because of it. Um, when we're talking about a four of wands at its core, we're talking about celebration, freedom, excitement, um, you know, uh, celebrating, rejoicing over a happy event. This was your wedding, your wedding reception. Um, this is, you know, a new opportunity. Maybe you guys broke up, but got back together and decided to take things to the next level. Um, this is events and experiences, okay, that generate excitement and where you are right now. Maybe you guys were married and this is your first marital spat as a married couple. Others of you, there's a marriage here or an engagement here and there has been a fight. Maybe because you guys are engaged and this is the first fight, you still focused on this. You 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 know, but that's where you are. Oh, let's keep going. So you are celebrating and it I guess it could be construed as well, Virgo, as with all of this going on. 
that you're celebrating that you guys aren't together. But this isn't a celebratory card because we broke up. So I have to call it for how I see it. Like you are looking at this as this is your person. They're looking at you in the eyes of their lover, deep spiritual connection. But they want to point out to people that you are not perfect. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, overall energy right here between you two is the emperor as well as the king of swords. Let's break it down and then go ahead and go into your clarifiers. It's really um, interesting that underneath that was an ace of cups. So have you decided to press forward in an, in an energy, um, Virgo, although you guys have not been getting along? Okay, because maybe... That is what's falling apart right now. Because at the at the core of this, let's get to the core. Is we're talking about a king of swords. That's beautiful energy because this is going to be truth. Um, it feels like there maybe were some secrets of or something, addictions that you held from people around you. This person that's putting you on blast, Virgo, and also. Um, kind of putting themselves out there. Maybe when you put them out or whatever you did in result of taking care of yourself, it was the ethical thing to do and you did it. You felt like you um, had to, um, um, you know, live higher and you had to, like, that could have been where this self is coming from. Step out of the cage, beating yourself up. If beating yourself up worked, you'd be thin, rich, and happy. Try loving yourself. So, Maybe you um, finally got to the point where you really uh, had to put your foot down in this situation and encourage this person to get the help that they deserve and gave them some type of ultimatum. Virgo, I don't know what it is about reading your energy. I haven't read addiction energy around you in a long time, but I always get there is just certain energy that just comes with certain zodiac signs on my channel for some reason. And I'm promising you that I don't. I don't have these energies. <laughs> it's not me. So um, even with different decks, you guys know I switch my decks up every single month. And it's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same energy. Like, um, But I haven't received a blatant um, 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 addiction energy for you in a while. And I probably feel like I said that six months ago because I said it then. I'm like, I haven't seen, you know, felt this. But um, with the emperor... Um, this is also um, energy, obviously, of um, he is fathering, he is structuring, he is authoritative, um, taking leadership. So um, you decided to, to take the bull by its horns um, and really uh, uh, fix a situation between you two. Um, you felt like you were doing the right thing. OK, you felt like you had to. And. You know, this overall energy, they feel the same way, obviously, because this applies to both of you. So, you know, you may be looking at it like you're, you're, you know, you're creating boundaries. You have to regulate, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, you don't got to do nothing. You don't get to do that. You know, they, they feel very resentful because of that. Um, when I'm looking down and giving this eight of swords and justice card a second glance, I am um, feeling uh, police um, and court as well. I don't like that. You guys let me know what that's about. Um, I looked down and just saw jail. Call the police. Let's go ahead with our five clarifiers. Clarify my emperor and king of swords here. I feel like I can give you what you need. Um, this is clearly... Um, a card that is very much so highlighting, obviously, their actions, their current actions. I can't make that up, okay? Um, this energy is already on the board. Let's keep going. So, I mean, if they're operating and their actions is in the devil, then there you go. I gave in to temptation, another devil card. They did. They fell off some type of wagon, okay? Um, I feel terrible for hurting you. It's all coming out, and they're they're coming out. You are the person of my dreams. Um, so they feel bad. Destiny is taking us down different paths right now. So it could be a possibility that this person is locked up, getting locked up, facing time. Um, they just jumped all the way out the window on something. Um, you're maintaining your four of wands uh, right now. You're 11-11. Um, you don't appear 
to be um you appear to be going through love space cuz remember it's almost as if we clarify the rest, your your energy your card this card goes along with your self care messages so right now you're focused on you know loving on yourself right now clearing out your space and again loving yourself you have two cards that talk about loving yourself be sure to love yourself instead try loving yourself instead self love is what they spell you have done everything in your power and people get mad when you take back your stuff virgo i can attest to that um having earth where i have it you can love someone but you can't love them through addiction you can't love weak to strong you can't love non-love to love your love doesn't do that. You're trying to defy the odds. Um, and sometimes we do have to look at things um, from a very realistic standpoint um, in order to get over things. And I think that you have finally gotten to a point, darlings, where you are doing that. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. This concludes your video. Um, your self-care messages will be, the words will be in the description. Um, and also in poster form on the website if you want to give it a quick uh, uh, look-see, okay? We will do this again every single season. Um, this is our second season. I love these cards. Um, and the next one we will have will be Gemini season. And then I do a comparison and let you know. So again, um, that is your message. If this is your story and you want clarity, uh, readings are open. It is April the 23rd. Happy Saturday. We are completely booked up for this month. We were booked up for the month a week ago. Typically, the second week of the month, sometimes the first seven to eight days, I'm, I'm booked. So um, book accordingly, and I'll see you in your next one. Bye, Virgo. Hey, Virgo. I just wanted to jump back on here for a second and say one thing that I forgot to say. I do pretty much feel like if this is a issue where this person is going through some type of substance or they need help, you're not giving up on them, but you are definitely letting them know that if they don't seek the help that they want, that you guys can't be successful. So I wanted to come back on really quickly and reiterate that you are still in love and Whatever this four of wands represents for you, you're still honoring that. But they are so lost in um, their view of you. It's hurtful because they're so lost in their actions um, because the justice is involved now. Um, so I do. I did start to feel that a little bit more literal. I kept looking down at that justice card and it's speaking to me. So some of you guys... And there was a situation with a Virgo that I knew now that I think about it. So I know you guys put it like this. You you did the best you, you did the best you uh, you knew how to do. You made the best decision. And sometimes and what other zodiac signs don't understand, especially for the earth signs, you have to do that. Virgo, you are mutable earth. So you will put the solution in front of a person and if they don't take it then sometimes you have to do what's best for you so i just wanted to come on there and say that i don't necessarily hope that that resonates but if it does and you want to talk about it we definitely can all right i'm gone for real bye virgo